Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you how we're going to start growing vertically on these new trellises this year. So we're going to use these for our tomatoes, pole beans, cucumbers, and peas, and we'll just rotate them between these beds each year. So in the past, we've used these standard cages that I know you've seen everywhere. And these work okay for some uh, determinate varieties, which only get about this tall, but we like to grow a lot of indeterminate varieties which will get huge if you give them the proper support for it. So uh, I actually made a silly video about these things last year. So if you want to learn more about the pros and cons of using these, you can check that out with the link up in the corner. But anyway, this design has been around for a long time. It has been well tested and proven to be very strong and long lasting. So that's what we're gonna go with this year. Uh, it is made using half inch EMT electrical conduit for the outer frame and then uh, matching half inch elbows to connect the corners. Uh, for the inside support, you've got a few options. This is just a nylon mesh netting that we got. Uh, you can also use a wire remesh, which just comes in a four foot by eight foot panel, which fits about perfectly on there and that's a little bit pricier than the nylon mesh uh, but it would probably be much stronger i can already see that this is a bit loose on there so i'm hoping that it will work okay uh, i guess we'll find out that's what this is all about experimenting figuring out what works and what doesn't so these are supported in the ground by a four foot length of rebar just uh, hammered into the ground uh, about a third of the way and then the trellis just slips right over the top and it's easy to uh, just take the whole thing off in the winter if you want to store it and make it last even longer so uh, i'm finishing up that last one here so let's uh, take a quick look at that so i'm just finishing up tying the netting to this last trellis here so this netting that I got it just comes in a, a bundle in a package and it's five feet by 30 feet so that was plenty to get coverage for all three of these trellises uh, it is in a bit of a tangle and that's kind of a pain to have to deal with that and, and untangle it and get it all set up so you can tie it down and it takes a while to work your way around uh, tying it to the the frame and that's uh, one drawback to using this as opposed to the the wire remesh, it's just one big panel, and uh, you can attach that using binding wire or uh, zip ties will be even easier. So that may be uh, a better way to go. Uh, it's a bit faster, but we'll try it this year and see how this works. So this trellis is four feet wide, and as I mentioned, the netting is five feet, so I've just been having to go along and cut off some excess there and leave a little bit so I have some length to tie that on. And uh, so the corner, this is called a pull elbow, uh, and it's designed for running your electrical wiring through the conduit here. And uh, you can take this off first and you pull the wiring through and then run it through the next angle and then reattach that. So I decided to use that to uh, clamp this, the netting down to give it some extra strength and uh, just put that in between the, the rubber washer gasket and the uh, the outer plate there so eventually that rubber will kind of deteriorate and dry up but as long as this just stays on there that shouldn't be a problem it should still last for quite a while so that's it thanks for watching and uh, if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and uh, be sure to subscribe below and i'll see you in the next one thanks mm -hmm.